Holy smokes, everybody. Adobe has just come up with a new addition to Lightroom that has blown me away. This is a game changer. Now, you know all about presets and you've probably used presets, but they just came out with AI presets. These are adaptive presets. I could also call them smart presets or intelligent presets. They are so smart that they have the ability to detect a person and make changes on a person that's in your photo and then make even different changes to the background that is behind that person. Let me show you what I mean so that you can just see for yourself. So here is a, a photo of a person and after we apply one of these AI presets, Adobe Lightroom is able to select the person, that's why the person is in red, and then make changes to the lighting on the person. In this case, we brightened the person up. And then separately, these AI presets can select the background and then make changes to the background, in this case, darken it so that the subject pops. So the net result is that the background has been darkened, the subject has been brightened, and it has uh, made the subject really pop off the background. Now, let me give you a live demo of this with a grizzly bear photo. And uh, so I'm going to grab my presets in the wildlife category and there they are on the left hand side so i'm going to apply one preset right now so it is giving me a message that this is an ai mask and it's going to take a couple of seconds but it is done and look at that difference let's look at the before and there's the before that's the raw file and here is the after the bear is just absolutely popping off the background so let me show you now what the AI preset just actually did. So if I click on the masking tool, you will see that there are two masks that have been created. So if I click on this bottom mask, see how the bear just turned red? I'll just tick the box here so you see that the bear is kind of covered in red spray paint. That's so that you can see where the mask is. So the bear has been beautifully masked automatically using the AI of these AI presets. Let's zoom into 100% and look at the edges of the fur of the bear. Look at how beautiful a job the AI preset has done in only masking out the bear. So what we did in this case, the preset turned up the exposure and made the bear brighter than it was and uh, it turned down some highlights. It did another couple of things with, with the sliders, but there's another really cool feature to these presets and that there's an extra slider that's being added. It's called the amount slider. And with this slider, you can turn up the overall effect of the preset just on the subject that has been selected. So I can turn it down, I can turn it up, so I can really customize these AI presets for the individual picture. So we just saw the first thing that happened and that was that the bear was selected, that it selected the subject. Now let's look at the second thing that was done using the AI and that is that the background was selected. So the goal in wildlife photography is that we often want our main subject, the wildlife, to pop off the background. And if we have a bright background, we want to darken that background. So the preset here has darkened the background. Look at the exposure is at a minus 0.5. And once again, we have the overall uh, effect slider so that we can adjust the overall effect of the preset. So I'll just leave it at zero, which is what the preset was made for. I'll click on done. And now let's look at the before. And this is the raw file as it came out of the camera and the after. And this is the magic of these AI adaptive presets. I've never seen anything like it. This really is a game changer when it comes to presets. And, you know, we often talk about presets as it's a one click edit. And oftentimes it is a one click edit. But the beauty of these is that you are able to make that one click edit, but then make your own custom adjustments. Do you want the, the bear to be maybe a little darker than it was? Do you want to warm up the color temperature? only on the bear so that the bear is warmer and the background is cooler. And then you have that extra ability to select that background only 
and not select the bear and then cool off the background or darken the background. It's absolutely amazing. So let me show you another example. Let's take a look at this osprey that's flying in the sky here. And let's do a quick edit on this one. I think to start with, I'm just going to zoom in on this osprey uh, with a very, very fast crop so that we have the osprey as the main subject. And that is done. And now let's go to, I'm gonna try the same preset, which is brighten the subject and darken the background. So the AI is now being applied and uh, it is detecting the subject. And look at that, bam. So I'll say that with this preset, maybe the Osprey is a little bit too bright. So let's do something about that. So I can click on the masking tool. And now I go to the mask. This mask only applies to the actual bird and I can just turn down the darkness on the actual bird. And uh, yeah, it's just a little too bright. So there we are. And um, let's just say we want to warm up the bird. So I turn up the temperature on the bird, make it a little warmer. And now let's do the opposite on the background. So I choose the background mask. That's everything but the bird. And uh, let's cool it down. Let's say that there's a really blue sky behind it and uh, let's even darken it just a little bit more so that the bird stands out even more. Now, if we find that there are some issues with the mask, like in between the feathers right here, I'll click Z on the keyboard and zoom in. And I can, um, I just wanna make sure, yep. Yeah, so I can um, actually add a plus in this case and go to the brush. And I can add, if I'm doing the, the right format here, it, I think the mask is actually on, yeah, I was right in the first place, I was right. So I can just move my brush tool up in between the feathers on the end of the wings there and fix the issue that's there. So it would just take me an extra minute uh, and in the interest of time, I'm gonna move on. Let's get to an image that involves a person, but boy, that just looks amazing and how easy this was. So let's use the AI presets on a person. So if we go into the AI presets for portraits, and I'm going to choose brighten a subject in soft light and I'm going to apply this AI preset. And now the person is going to be selected and uh, she is now fully selected. And let's look at the mask, see so she goes red. And so I have the option now of being able to turn up the brightness only on her. I need to click this, I didn't click it and select it. So I can turn up the brightness, I can darken her and see how it's not adjusting anything on the background. This is the coolest thing, I love it. So I'll leave that right there, pretty bright. And I'll say, I'd like the face to be a little bit brighter too. So let's just click on the plus and click on the brush and uh, make sure that auto mask is turned on and just give a really quick hit of brushing to the face and the top of the body and turn up the exposure. And just like that, we have a brighter face on the subject and click on done. Now I'd like to do something with this background, but I don't want my changes to affect the bride. So how do we do that? Let's uh, go for the preset natural background saturation. So we just added saturation to the background and let's just take a look again at where our masks are. So we've got one mask that's for the bride we have one mask that's for the bride's face and we have another mask that's only for the background. So if I want to, I can brighten up all the background. I can add a little bit of dehaze so that I can try and bring in some more drama in that sky. Just amazing what we can do. Let's look at one more. No, I don't think I have one more. I think uh, I'd love to show you what we have been developing here at Photography Academy. We have made a collection of brand new AI presets and they are such a game changer. I'm using them myself and I just can't help like laughing at how easy it is to make 
amazing edits to my own photos. So let's take a quick look at these new presets, this collection. So this is the AI preset collection and it's an intelligent preset collection. It's a smart preset collection. You're getting just shy of 50 presets and we've broken it up into three individual collections. So we have a wildlife AI preset collection and this is specifically for wildlife so that your the animal or the bird will be selected and you can make adjustments on the animal separately from the background. Then we also have another collection in this bundle that is specifically for people photos, portraits, so that you can select a person and make adjustments to the person that are separate from your adjustments to the background. So you can make someone really pop off the screen. And thirdly, we have our landscape AI preset collection. This is just for landscapes and we spent a lot of time in creating these presets so that you can adjust the sky and uh, make individual changes to the sky that are different from the land. So you get all three of those collections, the wildlife collection, the portrait collection, and the landscape collection inside the AI presets, intelligent preset collection. There is a link somewhere around this video where you can buy a set of these presets and I can assure you they are game changers. You can create your own presets as well and I really have to take my hat off to Adobe. They have done an amazing thing by allowing us, all of us as photographers, to be able to create our own AI presets that can select a subject, it can select the background, it can select the sky, we can make different adjustments for the different uh, parts of the image. Absolute game changer, it's gonna speed up our photo editing in a big way. So thanks for watching and I hope that you will give these a try, uh, at the very least make your own and experiment with them, play with them and have some fun with your own AI presets. Bye-bye.